carcinogenic substances can be potentially presented in our food with the use of modern chemical fertilizers and pesticides in agriculture. The introduction of genetic modified crops has also contributed to greater concerns over food safety and led to greater interest in healthier food choice like organic food. Organic food are grown without the use of pesticides or chemical fertilizers. The Singapore organic market began in the early 1990s. Today, the organic retail industry in Singapore is estimated to be worth about US$4.6 million. Organic food are sold in web markets and supermarkets. The majority of its customers consist of expatriates or people with higher purchasing power. However, the sector here is still rather underdeveloped compared to the Japanese and Western organic markets. Furthermore, there is no organic certification program in Singapore, which could be due to the Singapore Health Promotion Board not being an advocate for organic food. The lack of such organic certification program makes it hard for retailers to convince customers of the organic nature of their products. We have gone on the street to find out more about the public's perception on organic food. And you purchase organic products before? No, but my mother did. There's no pesticides used, though. Then, uh, then, there's no nutrition benefit, uh, but there's no harmful. And compared to normal vegetables, there's no harmful. Yeah. Yeah. As gathered from our interviews, some of the challenges faced by the organic retail sectors include Customers' perception that organic food is more expensive, making it less affordable by the average family In addition, many were ignorant about the benefits of organic food, making them less willing to purchase the more expensive organic products this mentioned that they are unsure whether the organic products on the market are truly organic. Greenwashing scandals and skepticism deters them from purchasing organic produce. Currently, there are about 40 organic stores locally, with major supermarket chains having dedicated sections for organic food. We went down to Trimfa Organic Farm, one of Singapore's few organic farms that is also the retailers of their own produce. Chenfa Organic Farm is founded by Mr. Liao Chenfa in 1975. Mr. Liao Junjie, who is running the farm now, will be telling us more about the challenges faced by the farm in selling its organic produce. It's perishable, so the shelf life is very, very short. That's why the challenge is to sell the freshest ones as possible, as fast as possible. Growing in Singapore, cost is very, very high. So, in a way of business view, you don't really can make money. But if you do import distribution, the cost might be lower and we can reach out to more people. Imports are expensive because there's too much hand involved. Mm. From farmer distribution to importer to exporters to importers has already four hands. So until consumer is a six or seven hands really. Mm. Every part, everyone wants to earn fifty cents will do. How much is the produce now? That's why organic is that, is that expensive. From our interview with Mr. Liao Junjie, we can see some of the challenges faced by green retailers in Singapore. The high rental fees of land coupled with the high cost of organic farming increases the operating cost of Chuenfa. The remote location also impedes Chuenfa's retailing efforts. Furthermore, given the slow increase in demand for organic products and on the small scale of the farm, it necessitates Chuenfa to diversify by importing organic products. Chenfa also has future plans to open a cafe that will further aid Chenfa's retailing efforts. In the short run, the Singapore organic retail sector will likely to remain as a niche market. This is largely due to the high price tax and the lack of conclusive evidence on the benefits of organic food consumption. However, in the long run, we are seeking a greater interest in healthier food choice. This can be seen from retailers such as NTUC, which has reported a 25% year-on-year increase in its organic vegetables demand. Thus, the greater participation of more retailers are likely to lower the price of organic food, and we may see more Singaporeans purchasing them in the future. <laughs>